What's going on everybody? So today's video, I reviewed this set a few years ago, never published the video. I wanted to wear it a little bit more to get a better feel, but my guest today, she's huge. I think that we should get the latest thoughts on this one. So my guest is Andrea from the channel Curly Sense, and today we're going to get her take and my take on Vince Camuto's Eterno. The brand of Vince Camuto. This brand does get flagged from the online fragrance community. They're not one of the more popular brands out there. I personally really do like them, but they do have their issues. Their bottles are all the same. You have the Om, you have the Virtu, you have this one, Solare, Terra. There are a number of fragrances from Vince Camuto. But this one was actually launched in 2015 or 16 classification. I'm not too sure, but before I give you my take, Andrea, why don't you give us yours? Hey everyone, Andrea here from Curly Sense, and first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Chat for inviting me on his channel for this collaboration. Chat is one of the original fragrance reviewers on here, and also an extremely nice guy, so it's a pleasure to be here. If you guys didn't already know, he's also a frontline worker during this crazy pandemic, so thank you, Chat, for all that you're doing, and much respect to you. As he's already mentioned, I'll be giving my thoughts on a fragrance from a house that I've actually never smelled anything from, so I was definitely excited when I received this decal. So let's get into this review of Vince Camuto's Eterno and start off by taking a quick look at the bottle. So even though I only have a Deacon right here, I have seen some of the bottles of this line in person, and I have to say they're quite nice. Eterno has an all-white full leather wrapping, which is quite unique and elegant, the classic Vince Camuto emblem on the front, and also a metal plate on top, which kind of reminds me of a Terre d'Hermes bottle. Overall, I think the design is simple, classy, and considering the price of this fragrance, the quality is still there. Eterno opens up very bright, fresh, and attractive, and you'll immediately pick up on main notes of mint and citrus. At the same time, though, you're greeted by a spicy and warm creaminess coming from saffron, which creates a very intriguing and unique balance between freshness and depth. The somewhat sweet creaminess in here also kind of reminds me of a dessert. Like a tart with a lemon or lime cream inside. Now, by no means is Eterno a gourmand fragrance, but I did get a bit of a yummy, edible feel alongside the minty freshness. A very impressive opening, but unfortunately, this quickly fades away. After only about 10 minutes, the citrus is completely gone, and you're left with a prominent saffron note, with the mint still quite present as well. At this point, it becomes slightly bitter and a little bit spicier, possibly because of the bourbon pepper in here. I also pick up on some florals in here, which gives Eterno a slight feminine touch to it as well. While the meat is still pleasant and definitely unique, I find myself to be missing the magic of the opening and wanting to respray. Unfortunately, the dry down is where Eterno just completely falls flat for me. You're left with that saffron, a bit of woods, and also a slight powdery accord, which I'm not a huge fan of. This also might sound a bit strange, but I'm definitely getting a Play-Doh smell in the dry down. That's right, I said Play-Doh. And I don't know about you, but that's a big no-no for me in a fragrance. Longevity on Eterno was actually quite decent for a semi-fresh fragrance, and I consistently got around six to seven hours on my skin. However, in terms of projection, I only got around an hour of moderate projection before it started making its way closer and closer to the skin. While I do think Eterno is quite versatile, I would say that in terms of seasons, spring will be ideal. I could also see this working in summer, but only for the night, because aside from the opening, it does give off a bit of a warm and creamy feel. I also think this will work best as a more casual scent in general, but Suited Up works as well and is great for work because it's definitely not loud. In terms of compliments, I think Eterno is not a super mass appealing DNA, but could definitely pull some compliments in the opening and mid. I actually showed this to my female roommate right after I sprayed it, and she said it smelled sexy. I also showed it to my male roommate, and he found it very pleasing as well. Because of the uniqueness factor, it might turn a few heads, but again, only in those opening stages. Overall, because of the dry down, I'm gonna go with 5.5 out of 10 as my rating for Eterno. Pricing on this one is definitely great, and at around $26 for 100 ml of juice, I will say is a pretty decent bang for your buck. If you're looking to just try something new with a unique DNA, or you're just trying to fill up your cart for free shipping, give this one a try. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my take on Vince Camuto's Eterno, and another big, big, big thank you to Chad for having me. I hope you're all safe and healthy, and now, 
I'll let the sarcastic Canadian take it from here. Thank you very much, Andrea. I really do appreciate you giving us your thoughts and your time, mademoiselle. So I really do appreciate it. So the notes on Eterno, according to Fragrance Club, the top notes are mint and citruses with the mid being bourbon, pepper, and saffron, and the base is patchouli and woods or cedar. So what do I get out of this scent? In the opening, you get a beautiful citrus, but you get an even more beautiful mint note. The mint in this is just done exceptionally well. It's very beautiful and very refreshing. But then you get that saffron and the bourbon vanilla, or the bourbon pepper, I should say. It's pretty much just saffron to my nose. The saffron and the mint start to balance it out. It's not more, it's not one more, it's not more saffron or more mint. It's pretty much 50-50. And then towards the base, the saffron or the spices and that mint accord are gone. And the patchouli and the, the wood say, hello. The first couple hours to this scent are amazing. I've said this on other videos about this scent, that the opening is one of the freshest openings that I have ever smelled, whether it's niche, designer, or indie. The opening in this is so refreshing. If you're into aromatherapy, this is gonna definitely boost your mood. But the base for me, after hour three, four, it's not really for me. Performance on this, this is where the brand gets a lot of flag from the online fragrance community. I got five to six hours, six hours is pushing it. I would say that probably more so five to five and a half hours. And projection is mild to moderate depending on how much I apply, but it pretty much only projects within the first 30 to 60 minutes. Occasions, this is a great daily scent that you can wear just daily casual, but also to work. It's more daytime, not exactly evening out, and I don't really see a high school student really liking this one, but a college student, yes. Price tag, Vince Kumuto, super economical. $10 to $35 UST. It's $10 for a travel spray and for a tester bottle was like $28, $29. But like for the full package was $35 USD. What you're getting is great. Wife's thoughts on this one? Wife likes this one quite a bit. She loves that opening. She loves the mint in the saffron. She gets a little bit of the citruses, but not so much. And she does say that this is more of a daytime casual scent. And my final thoughts on Vince Kumuto's Eterno. I'm kind of glad that I waited to not put this video out because I got the perfect guess. And just like how Andrea said, the opening and the mid are just, uh, it's delicious. It's uplifting, and when I mean delicious, it's not like yummy. You know, it's just, it really boosts your mood. It makes you happy. I love mint-based fragrances, but the mint and the spices to this one, good on Vince Camuto. The base, however, no. Longevity is not bad, but for something like this, I wish that it was fresh from top to bottom and that you got seven to nine hours out of this one. That would be a perfect masterpiece, a perfect five out of five because the price tag, the smell itself, fantastic. The bottle presentation are classy and elegant, but my rating is gonna be a four and a half out of five. Great scent for Vince Camuto. So if you like green, spicy, uplifting, refreshing scents, you're gonna love this one. You may not like the dry down. What I do is that after three hours, like two to three hours, I just respray. That's all I do. So that's my take, and I know that my take doesn't matter because you guys are here for Miss Andrea's take. She's a very lovely lady. She, I'll admit, she's very attractive, but she's very ladylike and very classy. So guys, if you are new to the community, please make sure to check her out. Her link will be down below, but be gentlemen. Don't be a douchebag, okay? I told Miss Andrea, and I was gonna be on my best behavior for this video and I hopefully that I did that. So Mademoiselle, I do thank you very much once again. Hopefully that I can go to New York or better yet, Boston, because I have not been to Boston and Boston is definitely on the map for the wife and I. But I do thank you once again and I do hope to meet you real soon. So that is our take of Vince Komoto's Eterno. So everyone, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. We do thank you for your time. Take care and we will see you later. Thanks for watching everybody.